Switzerland's third largest wealth manager, said profit almost doubled last year. Joining us now is David Costa. He's the Dean of Faculty and one of the founders of Zurich-based Robert Kennedy College. Uh, David, nice to see you. Thank you very much, Rajiv, for joining us. You say the Swiss private banking is in survival mode. Did you see that in the Julius Bar numbers today? Well, actually, I was pretty surprised by the numbers of Julius Baer, and I also think uh, that their reaction has been very positive. It's a sign of strength, certainly, to increase dividend in a moment like this. So I think uh, I've been pretty surprised by how quickly, how swift the reply of Julius Baer has been. And I think with the challenging environment, which indeed we have in Swiss private banking, there also come consolidation opportunities. And Julius Baer, being the third largest asset manager, which is entirely focused on private banking, could get some of those benefits. David, give us a sense of how much reputational damage the Swiss National Bank has done to everyone in Switzerland, including these asset managers. Well, I, I take a different view here. I can say that the reputational damage uh, is, is not very big at all because on the short term, yes, it is a shock. But on the long term, that uh, is consistent with what is Switzerland, which is neutrality and stability. And so the National Bank sent a strong signal to say, we are independent thinker, we do our thing before the ECB. And I think the mistake here has been, well, in a way, it was very sudden, but the original mistake was having a peg at all. Whenever you have pegs with currency, the normal it turns out uh, in this type of shocks and that's what we had here so given what is given I think over time this will be a sign of strength because we still have so much uncertainty throughout the world uh, including the situation in Russia and Greece etc that Switzerland can still play on this stability and a stronger currency is also a symbol of stability um, how hard is it going to be to hang on to talent? I, private banking is a relationship business. Those relationships move around with the managers. And if, and if they're going to start putting pressure on salaries, on bonuses, maybe some of those guys are going to leave and go elsewhere. I, how big a problem is this going to be for companies like Julius Barr? That's why I think the announcement today was positive because they, they underlined that the, the cuts they had are not in, in staff, uh, in clients facing staff. And that's the big challenge because it's very easy to say, oh, let's cut bonuses. The payments are very high. But that is an industry that relies entirely on individuals. So your talent is what you have. So I think uh, banks have to balance, these private banks have to balance those cuts with also the growth opportunities. And growth opportunities can only come if you can retain your key personnel and this, this relationship with the client. So it is a balanced act. It is a challenging environment, but it is also an environment with a lot of opportunities and still a pretty good profitability, especially if we compare it with other areas of banking. So I think private banking here is challenging, but can also be very profitable. And the consolidation could inevitably bring more business to the biggest players. Some of the foreign banks, like Standard Chartered, already cheesed their operation in Switzerland. So it will remain a smaller business, and the challenge also brings opportunities. Opportunities. Uh, David, how big a uh, takeover target is Julius Barr? It is quite a big takeover target. There have been rumors of uh, a possible appetite for a takeover. It could make sense, but it has to be seen because they have a very strong uh, uh, capital position. I think the bank is, is the result. The numbers are very positive overall. So it will be an expensive acquisition, uh, but uh, much depends really on the strategy on what type of cost saving can be made, etc. But I think at the moment that may be more speculation than reality because uh, it's quite of a big player. So I will see more consolidation in the smaller players with a much smaller asset under management. David, we'll leave it there. Thanks for your analysis. David Costa, Dean of the Robert Kennedy College. Now coming up, you could pay 10